Hello. This is a reading for Scorpio. How are you, Scorpio? Scorpio, shall we see what's coming into your energy? What is a message for Scorpio? Temperance for Scorpio. We have here of our hermit. Cancer, two of swords. Let's go and and clarify. It almost feels like Scorpio in this energy for whatever you're healing from. Or wanting to move forward from. It's like now having the courage when others around you don't really want to see things clearly or address the truth. Someone, you, are now more than now you know, you're, you're facing the truth head on, but it feels like for perhaps some of the people in your energy, they're not. You are. It feels like that. Let's go and see about Chariot. Chariot, I have Page of Cups. Now wondering if Page of Cups was is it Cancer energy? It's not Scorpio. Knight of Cups is Scorpio. Anyway, you have some strong water signs here starting up. Cancer, Pisces, and of course they say the the court cards can go with any, but you know some are more attuned to others. High Priestess, it's all about reviewing a situation, Queen of Wands is about going off to better. Two of Two of Swords. I have a couple. A strong Pisces energy so far developing. Strong air. Okay, Pisces, I'm looking at a reconciliation. One person is quite sure. Another person is thinking about it. Pisces, there's someone who knows that you two have a special bond. But they're still unsure about where or how they want to proceed or or work it. How do they want to work the bond? Where do they want to take it? What are they willing to offer? Maybe to 
in creating a relationship with you or growing a relationship with you, where does that put them and their goals and their identity? You know, there's something here about how they see themselves and how they feel they would be changed. They dealt with you. Maybe two Pisces, in, oh no, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe two Scorpio in this energy. It's like if they dealt with you, how vulnerable would they be? Have they ever been vulnerable like that with someone to the degree of this before? Do they want to open themselves up for that? There is someone else, Pisces. Did I say Pisces again? I'm so sorry, Scorpio. They said I have like all these Pisces energy. Maybe you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. The Moon, the High Priestess, um, Ten of Cups. And a strong Pisces energy. Anyway, I do have a match pair Scorpio. And under Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, um, whatever this person is called, Ten of um, uh, King of Swords, <laughs> Six of Wands. This is more like knowing. You know, there isn't a blockage here. It's intuitively knowing that together you could be quite successful. Intuitively, someone in your connection could be you. Could be this other person. But Scorpio, intuitively, they know that if you two got together. There's a lot of success there. You can get along very well. Queen of Swords is clarified by a Knight of Wands. You know, there's recognizing the drive. You know, together with that connection, there is a lot of mobility you could go and accomplish together. King of Swords is clarified by the world. The Queen of Swords recognizes the mobility, you two, the ground you can cover. The King of Swords recognizes the achievements you can create together. Two, excuse me, a Six of Wands clarified by a Ten of Cups. You know, this is a very prosperous life you can create. And someone or both of you intuitively recognizes that. So there's a reconciliation that I see someone reaching out to offer. I think they've come to terms with their own feelings. It does feel like this is a little period of time here. Moon, Four of Cups, Six of Swords. That's, if we were thinking about time, that's too long for me. But this is a long amount of time. Could this be like six months-ish? Could this be like a year? It's longer than 30 days. This is long drawn out energy that someone has been thinking about your connection. This is really long. This is like the kind of age that you see someone with a, a kid and then you have like a 12 year old cat and like they're equal, right? <laughs> like equal age. You're like, wow. And that kid got big on that sort of like you know time level it's a long time of course Scorpio everybody has a different sense of timing some people are paced a little more patient than others are you a patient type Scorpio or are you impatient 
obviously that's going to play into your feelings of timing. Anyway, under the high priestess, or excuse me, under the um, chariot, we also have the knight, excuse me, the, um, I know, I'm like a little scattered right now. Queen of Wands, clarified by a nine of pentacles and ace of wands. I would say in this energy, Scorpio, I'd say one of you has the attitude that no matter who they're with or what they're doing, they're going to go and make successes wherever they go. It's like very independent. They say one person is sold on the connection. Another person recognizes the benefits of the connection. Anyway, there's going to be an attempted reconciliation. Scorpio, someone believes in the power of your connection and that you can accomplish great things. And I'd say the other party has to be persuaded for that because they see that they can create magic on their own. We do have Pisces, as I mentioned before. <laughs> Pisces, um, Sagittarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Cancer. I almost wonder if this is Cancer or Scorpio. I forget what this night of um, thing is. We have water signs. Pisces, Pisces, which could be Cancer too, but you know. Um, Aries, Libra, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces. The strong, strongest signs I have there, Scorpio. And that's the message I have for you today. Let me know if you like this reading, Scorpio. If you do, you can give me a thumbs up or a comment. You can also donate to the collective if you'd like a personal reading. You can reach out to me. And if you're subscribed, thank you for your energy today. If you're not yet subscribed, you can consider subscribing. Anyway, Scorpio, I am wishing all of you the most beautiful day and the most wonderful week. Till the next reading. Bye-bye.